Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video on Balboa. In this video, I've utilized another Martial Academy video. This video will be a complete starter guide to this, you know, and these new players coming into the game. If you're just joining the Discord or whatever, and you want to learn a little bit about the game, um, this is pretty much what this guide will be. So, if you guys end up enjoying it, like and subscribe to the channel. My current goal is 10,000 subscribers, so we can get that already appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is explain the mechanics and keybinds of this game. So, obviously, you know, you have your normal M1 string. I believe it's five M1s, and then you knock back. You have a right click, which is different for all weapons. Um, I believe fist and sword have one kind of like similar almost. And then wand is actually a ranged one, which you can just spam, uh, which is very good. They're all pretty good inside their own right. You will have to pick whatever one you want. Uh, when you first load into the game, it's going to make you customize your character. Here is where you can see what race, uh, magic, and all that that you have. I'll get into those a li little bit later on. Um, but they are, you know, all very strong. Nothing is like completely unbalanced at this game. Even commons are still like some of the strongest uh, magic inside the game. Um, but yeah, once when you decide what build you want to go, once when you decide, you know, your trait, what weapon you want, um, now you actually load inside the game, you'll load in right here. So this place is semi useful because it does sell potions and um, a cream puff, which I believe is good for leveling up. But this isn't going to be the main thing that you need to worry about. So this is one area. This is like that kind of mini store. And then to the right is going to be the main store. This is where you buy trainings, and you can also buy keys from. If you guys don't know, keys are going to be very, very useful for a lot of you guys. Uh, because the only way to actually open up rare or legendary chests is going to be with keys. So once when you actually go to this building, if you just come in here and talk to this guy right here, you can buy a key for, uh, I believe it's 50 silver, which is like one mission. And they're pretty cheap. This is also where you buy a bunch of trainings if you don't want to do it inside your academy, or if you haven't beaten the exam. The next thing that I want to talk about is going to be the blacksmith, which is pretty important as well. Uh, you guys will want to remember the location of this city as well, because a lot of the missions rely on it. This guy right here as well, if you give him a little bit of money, uh, I believe it's 25, 50 silver, then he'll give you a whole level up, uh, which is, you know, obviously very good. I recommend to use that once when XP is a little bit hard for you guys, though. Uh, I wouldn't use that really early game. This is going to be the blacksmith. This is where you level up your weapons. They did reduce the scaling of it, so it's not like crazy anymore. But as you guys can see, you know, you just come here. Boom, if it does that, then it succeeded. Okay, did it again. And then if it does that, it fails. Um, but you guys get the whole image. It does take a lot of coins, so you're going to need to farm up. Um, but yeah, once when you're done in this main place, now you actually have to do the exam. So I'll just speed through this so you guys can actually see where to go. So once when you climb up this ladder right here, you guys will actually run into this place right here. And this is where you actually get into side your academy. You have to beat the exam. I have a whole different guide for the full exam. If you guys want to watch that, it'll be in the top right of your screen. Or you guys can just go to my page and see it there. Um, but yeah, you just talk to this guy. You'll say that you want to do the exam. And boom, once when you are done with that, then you actually get placed inside the academy. Let me go back to mine real quick. This is something that you get whenever you beat a mission. It's called Return. Uh, it pretty much just takes you back to your academy, which is very good if you guys don't know. Uh, beforehand or other games, you know, a lot of the time they just make you walk back and forth, back and forth. This game, whenever you beat a mission, they do give you returns so you can just come back right inside your academy. Um, but once when you are inside the academy, there are some things that you will need to learn before you actually do missions. So if you want to change your academy, all that you have to do is run over um, every single library. We'll have this girl right here. Talk to her, give her a thousand silver, and you can actually switch to that academy. So let's say if all your friends buy this game and, you know, you're all inside different academies. You guys can just all select one and um, pay for it, pretty much. Then, this is where the quest board is. You just, you know, get quests there. Um, at least for watch this, this is where the training is. But once you guys see all these markings on the wall, you guys see all these trainings, this is where you will actually train to get stronger. I'll run through what all of these do. So, this one is a training quest. It trains durability, obviously. This one, some other people actually have to hit you, so it's good if you have, like, a friend playing with you. This one is a boulder, which also trains their ability, but you have to do it solo, um, and you can get crushed by it. So, you know, if you buy one, you train for a little bit, and you're about to get one tap, put the boulder away, the XP will save, and then you can bring it back out once when you're back at full HP and actually use it. Tire, train stamina, you just run around. Both of these train strength, that should be pretty obvious. Both of these uh, train magic, so the magic carpet... And then there's also the book of intelligence um this one really just depends on you obviously the more expensive one will train you faster then over here is going to be the ankle weights this is actually where you train um speed or agility 
And then once you're done with all that, you guys need to know what build you want to go. Um, I'll have a whole different video explaining what builds are the best, but I'll just go through it real quick. So obviously you have your magic, you know, you guys can pick whatever magic you really want. All of them are pretty even in this game. Then you have your weapon. Every single weapon has three skills. Uh, for example, sword is very diverse, so it has a long range move, it has a counter move, and then also a dash move. That's why I personally like sword, but you guys can pick whatever you want. I know fist is very good for combos, and then uh, wand is kind of in between as well. Then there's your basic ones, um, so there's muscle ones, there's magic ones, there's durability, stamina, and then agility ones as well. Um, but once when you guys figure out what build you want to go as well, it is going to be like Deep Ocean where you want to know your build before you guys actually do start playing. But now you can start driving quests. So once you're in your level 1 to 25, you guys will have beginner quests. These include um, some of the following. So you guys have these little dirty spots that you have to clean up. This is the one called Janitor Work. You'll just have to come clean all of these up. Once you clean up 5, the mission is completed. Then you will have the library work as well. This one, you just don't set the library. Any of these things that are giving dust particles, you just tap on them. Boom. Pretty easy. Then there's one, I believe it's called outside work or something, lawn care. Um, any of these tall green patches of grass, you just click on them. It only requires three, and then you guys actually will complete it. And then there's two more missions, which are um, actually killing NPCs. Um, these include the turnip, which will actually just be a you know, little white thing in the ground. I'll show a picture on the screen right now. And then there will also be the road ninja or something like that. Uh, maybe road wizard. Whatever it is, um, pretty much all that you need to do is um, walk out to the forest. The forest will always be straight out of your academy. And then pretty much all that you have to do is walk out there. You will see a campfire. Just stay around the campfire. And then once when you see an NPC spawn, that is what it will look like. Um, but yeah, then once you're done with that, you get to the level 25 missions. These go all the way until level 50. Then you get harder missions, so on, so on. Um, but yeah, now to the actual like combat. The combat is pretty basic, there is some things that you guys will need to know. But basically the tips that I can give you guys is make sure that you remember to use your magic. A lot of people in this game forget to use their magic and um, kind of lose because of it. The magic, you know, if you guys don't know, this game is based off the anime martial, which is primarily focused on magics. Um, so, you know, obviously you do have to M1 still, but you know, magics are also very, very important to this game. So when you are fighting, just remember that you do have magic and other skills to assist you. Uh, it's not only M1s like other games. You will also have to remember to use your crit because those are also very, very helpful. Um, to slide, all that you need to do is press left control. I recommend to play this game in shift lock. That much should be obvious. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, that's pretty much just the starter guide for you guys. Um, I will have a day one starter guide where I go a little bit more in detail, explain like advanced things to set the combat and all that when close immunity does end up releasing. Um, but this is kind of just a short version for you guys that are starting the game right now or that are going to start the game in the future. Uh, just trying to explain the name if you guys enjoy like and subscribe and yeah I'll see, pretty much just see you guys in the next one um, I'll have a combat guide maybe out tomorrow just explaining you know like really advanced stuff about combat Ways to like trick your opponents and things like that um, But that's pretty much it for me If you guys have any questions you guys can just ping me inside the Monster Academy Discord Or join my Discord down below because I will be posting a lot of videos on this game um, But yeah I'll see you guys in the next video Peace